So you got a K24 from some sort of auto salvage place. And it looks something like this, minus the header. In this case, we have most of the engine harness still on the engine. If yours shows up like this, count yourself lucky, because if you want, you can now use this harness to create your own custom engine harness, DIY, for not the faint of heart. If we start at the front of the engine, we're just going to go through all the sensors. These will be the critical sensors that you want to keep regardless of the ECU you end up using. In most cases, you'll add some extra sensors like fuel pressure, flex fuel, etc. Starting at the bottom, we've got the crank sensor. Push this little clip, slide it off. Again, crank sensor. The K20 and K24 crank sensors will be slightly different. The plug is the same, but the pinout is slightly different. So if I remember right, the signal wire is switched with, I think, sensor ground. But anyways, double check that depending on K20, K24. Moving up, you've got this oil pressure switch, more or less. It's just one pin. That's not a sensor that you're going to end up using. You'll likely replace this with a three-wire sensor that uses a five-volt power. Keep going up. Come over to the center of the engine. You've got the cam timing solenoid. Again, push the clip, slide it off. You'll be keeping that unless you're eliminating the variable cam timing on the intake side. Coming back over here, you've got the VTEC solenoid. Push the clip in, lift it off. Now, this whole lower part of the harness is free. Say the front part of the engine. Coming up here, this is normally bolted down underneath this cover, but I already took the coils out of this particular engine. So these are one, two, three, four coils. Coming around to the back, now you have that entire section of harness free. You've got the coolant temp sensor. Go ahead and pull that off. It's a two-wire sensor. Most temperature sensors are two-wire. The back of the engine, you've got the exhaust cam position sensor, and then the intake cam position sensor. Again, both of these you will keep using. Following the harness down, you're now the throttle body. This is a drive-by wire, K24, so it's got a pretty big clip here. We'll pull that off. You can see the pins are massive because these throttles actually do draw quite a bit of current. You will keep that, potentially keeping a drive-by-wire throttle body, maybe using like a Bosch throttle body, or some people convert back to a cable style throttle body. I say keep drive-by-wire. Moving down here, we've got a little solenoid that's been broken. In my case, I won't need that because I'll use drive-by-wire throttle. So. I don't need this solenoid for anything. This guy here is going to be normally going into the intake for the intake air temp sensor. We'll keep that. Again, you'll notice two wires. Right down here, you can see the map sensor. You will definitely be using that, so go ahead and pull that off. And then follow the harness back up. You're now to the injectors and the ground. I've already unbolted the ground there, but you can go ahead and pull all the injectors off. And now this entire section of the harness is free as well. And you can start hacking this up. Well, don't hack it up. Just remove the sheathing over the wiring route everything how you want, add extra wiring for the sensors that you want, and then go ahead and throw your K24 back inside uh, whatever you want.